Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com and your Weather Authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Wednesday morning forecast update. Some very cold temperatures across the Arkeltex early this morning. And as of recording this, we still have a few more hours to cool down. So uh, a lot of areas will be at or below freezing at sunrise. 32 is freezing, and we're down to 32 now in Minden. Below freezing at 30 in Idabel and Dequeen, as well as Mount Pleasant, and uh, just above freezing here in Marshall, Shreveport, as well as Manny. So I do think by the time we get to sunrise, most of us should be between, I would say, 29 and 33 degrees. So you'll probably want the heavier uh, winter coat this morning, and it will be another sunny and cool day today. High temperatures yesterday wound up in the low 60s, and we should be in the low to mid 60s again this afternoon, but not as breezy today. So I actually do think it will feel uh, a little bit better than yesterday, but uh, just make sure you have some long sleeves on as uh, we'll stay fairly cool through the afternoon, and we do have a warming trend that will begin to kick in tomorrow. So if it's uh, you're already tired of the two days of cold air that we've had here, uh, we should have some warmer and comfortable air coming back for the upcoming weekend. So look at your temperatures uh, across the entire region. Our wind is still coming out of the north, so it's still kind of tapped into that Arctic air that's just to the north of us. And you can see the uh, warm front that will kind of cross through the Arkeltex tomorrow is making its way up across Texas. So it's just another 24 hours, and we should get uh, some more comfortable temperatures back to us. And the wind's pretty light this morning and should stay below 10 miles per hour this afternoon. And the winds will be out of the northwest today. So if you're headed out to the waterways to do some fishing here, hopefully the bite's better with the cold air out there. But uh, shouldn't have to deal with too much chop out there on the lakes and rivers today after a uh, couple of breezy days, Monday as well as Tuesday. So high pressure kind of building down across the plains here. That's what's uh, funneling that cool north wind into the Arkeltex today. And that's what will keep our high temperatures in the 60s. Uh, look at your highs this afternoon. And similar to yesterday, most of us uh, about 63, 64, 65 degrees or so. And uh, again, look at your future cast from Robin's Toyota show in the light wind and uh, pretty much all day sunshine here. Don't think we'll see much in the way of clouds pass through. Of course, the humidity extremely low as well. And uh, by the time we get into tomorrow, there goes the red arrows on the map. So that's that warmer air coming in behind the warm front, which will uh, move across the region later tonight as well as tomorrow. So still cold tonight, just not as cold as this morning. I have everybody uh, just above freezing here overnight tonight, but still think there's some potential uh, to see a freeze north of I-30. So if you're in uh, Hempstead County uh, through uh, Severe Howard, Little River, as well as McCurtain, and maybe Red River and portions of Bowie County, I would go ahead and cover up those plants again tonight. Make sure you uh, turn off your watering systems as well as these temperatures can sink to near freezing again Thursday morning. But there's our warm-up. Uh, temperatures will go from the 30s tomorrow morning into the 70s during the afternoon. So uh, just a gorgeous day Thursday for my money. Probably the nicest day of the week. And then we'll start to warm it up uh, into the 80s Friday and through the weekend. But looking into next week, this is the 6 to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. They've got the bullseye of uh, above average rainfall uh, just north of us. We do have a front coming in next Monday and Tuesday. So that will be our next chance for rain. And uh, maybe some more rain late next week. So we're hoping this will be the kind of rain that may help out with the drought conditions here. And we're showing uh, maybe some areas seeing over an inch of rain maybe late Monday into Tuesday. And that should be our next cool down as well. But we should have some relatively quiet weather through Sunday before we see that chance of rain return early next week.